following is a presentation on estimating the juggler venous pressure in the physical examination. This is very important for estimating the fluid status of the patient and determining when a patient is in congestive heart failure. As can be seen from the diagram above, the juggler venous pressure is calculated by noting the position of the top of the neck veins in the neck above the chest wall. In this example it's two centimeters above the chest wall. One then adds five centimeters because of the right atrium is estimated to be typically five centimeters below the chest wall. So the juggler venous pressure here would be uh, two plus five equals seven centimeters of water which is the upper limit of normal. Once the juggler venous pressure has been estimated then one places one's hand in the middle of the abdomen and presses firmly down Word. If the neck veins go up and stay up with the patient breathing, that's called a positive abdominal juggler reflex test, and that's the most sensitive test for fluid overload in congestive heart failure. So the examination consists of estimating the juggler venous pressure and looking for a positive or negative abdominal juggler reflex. As can be seen by the from the video, in this example we uh, have the patient in between 30 and and 45 degrees so we can see the neck veins well. We turn the neck to the side so we can more easily see the neck veins. I'm placing my finger where I see the top of the juggler venous pressure. And then with a ruler placed at the second interspace, the angle of Louis, in the mid sternum, the vertical distance of the neck veins above the uh, chest wall is estimated here 12 to 13 centimeters of water. One then adds 5 centimeters and the juggler venous pressure is then 17 or 18 centimeters of water, which is quite high. Sometimes the neck veins are not clearly visible. If we shine a light from behind and shadow the neck veins, we can see both the internal and the external juggler veins uh, more clearly. And so the neck veins uh, can be uh, more estimated. As you can see now, the neck veins are filling uh, more. This is what a positive abdominal juggler reflux looks like. Anytime the neck veins are high, this is not necessary to do. It'll always be positive, but the neck veins appear normal. If you have a positive abdominal juggler reflux, then the patient is mildly fluid overloaded.